Hello everyone, you're welcome back to Otis Culture. If you're new here, you're welcome. My name is Oti. I create content on sewing tutorials and top and cap. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. In today's video, I'll be showing us on how I made this Ankara cow kaftan. It is very easy to make. So without further ado, let's move right to the tutorial. My fabric has been neatly folded into four as usual because I'm cutting the front and the back bodies together. I'm ruling out my starting line. This is my starting line. I'm going to measure neck width 4 inches. I always like to use neck width 4 inches for my booboo. Neck depth for the back, I'm going to measure 1 inch. Neck depth for the front, the front neck depth is going to be V shape. I measured 9 inches for the depth. So next is to connect the necklines. This is the back neckline. Then with my ruler, I'm going to connect the front neckline. Feel free to use neck depth of your choice. From the folded edge, I'm going to measure my sleeve length i want the sleeve length to be 21 inches between 21 and 22 inches is around my elbow feel free to use any sleeve length of your choice you can make it to be shorter so from the 21 inches i measure down two inches for my shoulder slope from the two inches i'm going to connect it to the neck width for my shoulder slope from my shoulder slope i measured 11 inches for my sleeve opening you can measure any sleeve opening of your choice between 8 to 11 is okay Shoulder to my hip line is 25 inches. That's my hip line. At my hip line, I'm going to impute my hip measurement divided by 4 plus 2 inches. The same measurement I have around my hip line i'm going to impute that same measurement to the lower part of the dress this booboo is very simple very easy then i'm going to connect with a straight line from my hip line to the lower part of the dress like so then from my sleeve opening i'm going to draw a curve i come in by one inch from that one inch then i draw a curve as you can see to meet the hip line 
See, you see the way I bend it to meet the hip line. I draw a curve like so. Then I join it to meet the hip line. From my hip line, I join it downward 11 inches. In case some people will ask me, how many inches are we going to measure before we connect it to the line? Mine is 11 inches from my hip line downward. The next thing is to cut it out. But before I cut it out, I'm going to add half an inch to the shoulder seam allowance. So the next thing is to cut it out. It's very easy. Drafting and sewing is very, very easy. Within one hour, you can sew this dress. I'm cutting the back neckline first. Then the shoulder slope. The sleeve opening I'll move to the lower part of the dress then I'll start cutting from the lower parts I'll find my way up Then I'm going to cut on the curve line, like so. You curve your hand. yeah and that's it i'm going to remove the back bodies then i will cut out the front neckline and slit the front open I'm just showing us how the shape looks like after cutting so I'm going to remove the back bodies I'm going to cut the front neckline then I'm going to slit the front open I 
I'm cutting on the V shape that I created. Then after that, I'm going to slit it open. The front is two pieces. I'm going to use a bias strip to finish the front neckline. And a bias strip to finish the back neckline as well. I'm going to use bias strip to finish the front neckline. Then I'm going to join the front together. I'm going to place it together like so. After I finish it with a bias strip, I'm going to place the two fronts together, right side facing each other. Then I'm going to sew three quarter of an inch straight down to where I want my slit to start from. You can measure between 12 to 15 inches for the slit depending on how high you want your slit to be. So I'm going to take to my sewing machine. I'm going to sew three quarter of an inch and stop at where I marked for my slit. I've sewn bias strip to the front neckline and I've joined the front two pieces together to make it one piece. As you can see, I've sewn bias strip to the front neckline. Then I join it at the middle to make it one piece and I stop at where I want my sleeve to start from. I'm going to fold my slit opening twice and finish up the edges of the slits. Then after that, I'm going to... I've already sewn bias strip to the back neckline as well as you can see. Then I'm going to place the front and the back together. This dress is very simple. I'm going to sew half an inch at the shoulders. After that, I'm going to M my sleeve opening. I'm going to M the edge of the sleeve opening twice. Then I'm going to sew it by the sides and also M the lower parts and show us the final look. It is very easy to make. I'll end the sleeve opening after that, then I'm going to sew on the curve. I'll repeat the same thing on the other side. I will hem the sleeve opening. I'll sew on the curve through to the lower parts. I will hem the lower parts 
and show us the final look. This is the final outcome of today's tutorial, guys. As you can see, it is very easy to make. We've come to an end of today's tutorial. If you find my tutorial helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. If you've not subscribed yet, please click on the red button to subscribe. Until I come your way next, please stay safe. I remain blessed. Thanks for watching. I love you all. Bye for now. See you soon. <laughs> Bye.